Keratoconus is uh, part of a group of conditions where the cornea of the eye, the window that we see the world, which helps reflect light onto the back surface of the eye, can become misshapen. Typically, this happens to people in their teenage years and in their early 20s. And the, and the eyeball itself, or the cornea specifically, changes from a more spherical or football shape to one that looks more pointed, like a rugby ball. The problem with this is that it causes increases short-sightedness and astigmatism, which becomes increasingly difficult to manage with conventional spectacles or even specialist contact lenses. Although keratoconus can run in families and there are certain genetic conditions that predispose to it, it's often uh, an environmental reason that may help make it worse. So typically we see this more often in patients who rub their eyes, either because they've got drier conditions or allergic conditions, such as allergic conjunctivitis and hay fever. And that seems to precipitate thinning of the cornea as a result of this rubbing, which then in turn causes the misshaping to take place. Keratoconus often in the early stages doesn't get noticed necessarily. It's sometimes picked up by the opticians who may find that during the process of checking your spectacle prescription, there are some unusual changes or the prescription is changing rapidly. With time, however, patients do notice an increase in the quality of their vision. And in particular, they may find that with spectacles, they, they can only see through one particular spot in the glasses and therefore looking from side to side makes um, life quite difficult. Keratoconus, unfortunately, cannot be cured. And modern management of the disease is to try and establish whether it continues to change. In other words, whether the disease is progressing or getting worse. We do this through a combination of clinical examination, the prescriptions from we get from your optometrist, but also using modern imaging platforms such as tomographers and topographers. This gives us valuable information about the shape of the cornea and how thin it is. And if we see that there's evidence of this changing, then we would consider an intervention such as corneal collagen cross-linking. This is a treatment that involves ultraviolet light to harden and age the eye artificially or the cornea specifically in order to prevent it from progressing further. Your doctor would speak to you about the risks and benefits of this intervention. We can also, in more severe cases, consider intracorneal ring segments or indeed corneal transplantation as a surgical intervention to try and rehabilitate patients who can't see as well, either because they can't be treated with contact lenses or the cross-linking hasn't um, worked as well as we might have hoped. The biggest thing that people can try to do to prevent keratoconus is to manage any coexisting ocular surface disease. So we've mentioned dry eye problems and allergic conditions. And so your doctor may help prescribe treatment for this to try and prevent you from rubbing. Ultimately, rubbing the eye is the thing that causes the cornea to, to misshape and become abnormal, such as in keratoconus. So one tip that we give our patients is to try rubbing the inside of the bone at the side of their, their nose rather than the eyeball itself.